Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another morning's devotion, another morning vitamin. So let's dive right in on this morning. So this morning devotion is called A Shame-Free Life. The scripture lesson text come from Psalms 34, 4 through 5. And the verse says, it's this. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. And their faces shall never be ashamed. And the scripture lesson text again came from Psalms 34, verse 4 through 5. And the devotion reads as follows. When a woman has been wounded in her soul, sometimes hurt and pain are not the only things that result. Sometimes depending on the type of wound, she can end up in shame, ashamed of what had happened to her, and even ashamed of who she is. She may think what happened to her is her fault or took place because of something flawed in her. Shame makes a person feel dirty, unattractive, awkward, devalued, and unlovable. Often shame causes us to feel we are unworthy of having hopes and dreams. And it causes us to lose confidence doing things we would otherwise feel strong and comfortable about doing. It can poison our thoughts, feelings, and decisions to the point that we become withdrawn and hopeless. If I had to summarize briefly what shame does, I would say that it makes us feel like something is wrong with us, though we may not be able to pinpoint exactly what it is. The things that wound our souls can leave complicated sets of consequences in our lives and shame is often added to them especially in situations of sexual abuse shame is only one of many results of being violated i know this from personal experience and i also know that it is possible to break free from shame completely it is so important that we learn to do this because if we don't we will not be able to fully enjoy the life Jesus died to give us. Our own thoughts and feelings can easily keep us trapped in shame, but God's word set us free. Jesus promised in John 8 and 32 that we will know the truth and the truth will make us free. This means we can be free from everything that holds us captive, including shame. I want to remind you of two more of God's promises today as a way of encouraging you to be confident that you do not have to live in shame any longer. God says through Isaiah, fear not for you will not be ashamed, be not confounded for you will not be disgraced for you will forget the shame of your youth. Isaiah 54 and verse 4. In case you're wondering, the word confounded means ashamed, defeated, confused, or overthrown. It also means damned or doomed to punishment. That's not a good way to feel. But when we are ashamed of who we are, we can easily feel doomed and defeated. God does not want us to feel that way. And in the I'm sorry, and in the short book of Zephaniah, he says, Behold, at that time, I will deal with all your oppressors, and I will save the lame and gather the outcasts, and I will change their shame into praise and renown. Verses 3, I'm sorry, chapter 3, verse 19. God wants you to live a shame-free life, full of faith, confidence, peace, and joy. Stay in his word and fill your mind with God's promises and he will help you leave your shame behind you. God's word is truth. Truth set me free and I'm totally free from shame. And again, the devotion is called a shame free life. When you're in God, you don't have to be ashamed about anything because what Ever took place in the past that's the past you don't have to be ashamed of anything in your life even if 
you know, you have done wrong sinfully, don't be ashamed because God is a forgiving God. So don't be ashamed. Live that shame-free life. Walk with your head up high. Walk with your chest stuck out. And walk with your shoulders back. And know that God is not going to hold that against you. For whatever you have done. Just repent. And move on. And live that shame-free life. So again, this is the devotion for this morning. And the morning vitamin, of course. So my name is Tavia. Be blessed. Have a good and blessed day. Remember to encourage someone because you don't know who needs that encouragement. So thanks for tuning in and we'll talk soon. Bye.